hey guys so uh just realized when editing my video for south dakota that i had accidentally uh stuck the four to one uh ballon on the uh the balance line antenna instead of using the brand new one to one that i had purchased uh for specifically that <laughs> that function so i'd already done the activation in denver with a four to one and so the intent was I was going to do South Dakota with a one-to-one -to, -one to see if it would still work. And unfortunately, I guess when I grabbed it out of the bag, I didn't realize that I had grabbed the four-to-one again. And so I did that 10-point uh, activation uh, with the same uh, 5 watts with my home-brewed 44-foot uh, uh, doublet and a four-to-one ballon instead of the one-to-one. -one. And so... Uh, I'm getting ready to go to Indiana. Uh, I am back home in Colorado right now for the last two days, and I'll be in Indiana tomorrow. And so the intent is to do some type of activation. I don't think I'm going to bring uh, either one of these antennas because I can't really fly uh, with the uh, the loop. Obviously, it's way too big and it doesn't come apart. And the uh, the balance line is a lot of extra stuff to bring in order to do the balance line. I'm bringing ropes and and uh, the uh, DX Commander pole and, uh, you know, one of the balance and all that. And it's just a lot of extra stuff. So I think when I do Indiana, uh, I'm going to only do a park because I'm too far away from the three, the only three summits in Indiana. And so uh, I'll probably just be doing, uh, you know, my uh, pack tennis uh, with, the, uh, with the radio. And so before I start uh, today with the one-to-one, -one, let me show you what I have set up. All right. So I've got my Hammers app open on that new $60 Evolve computer. Got my IC705 here. Got the MFJ929 tuner. And then, lo and behold, I have a 1 to 1 Balan. The LDG 1 to 1 Balan. Here you can see my balance feed line right here. We can get it in my hand. There you go. And it goes up to about 28 feet or so, which is where I have uh, the T split, and I'm doing an inverted V. And so half of the antenna going this way, the other half of the antenna going this way. Uh, that should be east to west, I think. So we'll have to wait and see on that one. And I've got it strung up pretty high. You know, like I said, about 25 feet up in the air. Uh, once I do the activation with uh, 10 contacts with that, I am going to switch over to my loop and uh, try the loop as well here with a uh, zero noise floor because I always have a zero noise floor uh, when I'm in uh, the fluorescent fossil beds. And so this is uh, kind of a redo, if you will, of... What should have happened on the summit in South Dakota using a one-to-one -one with my balance feed line on 5 watts. So let's see if we can get this started. And uh, we'll go on from there. All right, Siki Poda, Siki Parks on the Air. This is Kilo Zero, Foxtrot, Yankee Romeo. Parks on the Air running QRP in Colorado. K0FYR. November Silver one Fox uh, QSL10925, you're about 55, northern Michigan, Mike, India. Northern Michigan, huh? That's what he said. So this says he's from Texas, obviously. So I'm going to have to change the, uh, the location and the grid and everything. Right now he said it's Michigan. Kilo 9, India, Charlie, Whiskey 9, Golf, Tango. Uh, Whiskey 9, standby. Uh, Kilo 9, India Charlie Papa, go ahead. Roger, Roger. Uh, good morning. I've got you 5-4, uh, five, 5-4, four, five, four, Indiana. Doing a good job, QRP. Uh, Whiskey 9, go ahead. Whiskey 9, Golf Tango. QSL, you're 5-7-57, Indiana. Roger, Roger. Uh, you're hitting me 5-9 right now, 5-9. Uh, I'm just using uh, 5 watts, uh, trying out a new antenna. Hey, it's doing great. We're really loud. 
Yeah, I appreciate it. Uh, I'm using a one-to-one -one balun this time. Uh, before, I was trying a four-to-one on it on a balance line, but this is a one-to-one -one balun, and I guess it's getting out. Okay, well, it's doing very well for five watts, so you must have a good location. Yeah, Roger, it's a zero noise floor here, so it's uh, it's doing real good for me. Okay, well, have fun, 73. Whiskey Echo 5, whiskey. Your signal's uh, very, very weak uh, here in Arkansas. I could give you a, uh, a 3 3 maybe. So far, the uh, four contacts have been uh, real good. Uh, saying my signal's getting out quite well. So, again, I guess this does not hurt uh, having the one to one on it for sure. Park to park. Park to park, please go ahead. QSL, Kilo Zero, Foxtrot, Yankee, Romeo. Copy the 55 five in, into uh, Kilo Zero, 925. This is Kilo Juliet 7, Delta Tango. I've got you a 55 as well into two parks. Park 9147 and Park 4576 in Oregon. QSL. All right, I had to change frequencies a couple times. Uh, people keep stealing my frequency, so. Called out, got one park to park. And uh, now I'm just, uh, now I'm just trying a new frequency, see if uh, I can get spotted. Got a little more uh, noise floor here, maybe S. S2 noise floor with that. Yeah, about S2. I'm going to try this a little bit and then uh, go back to hunting if I can't uh, get anybody. Receive the 5-3 California. Yeah, I appreciate that. I'm running a QRP with a, a doublet on 5 watts. Yeah, you're doing pretty good for 5 watts, so thanks for the park, 73. Somebody's moved in on a frequency right next to me. K-5, Sierra Julia Charlie. K5 Sierra Juliet Charlie, sir, you're hitting me five nine plus. Imagine that. <laughs> it's a park to park, park to park. You ready to copy? You can guess where I am. Uh, no, actually, are you? You're not in uh, the fossil beds, are you? No, close. I'm up at Mueller. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, that's good. Uh, and the number on Mueller is at twelve thirty. Roger, Roger, brother, Roger, Roger. Well, yeah, you're hitting me nice and strong. I'm, I'm running uh, five watts on my doublet. Yeah, good for you. Yeah, I just, uh, I was actually down at Cripple Creek trying to uh, do a soda deal on a peak I have been to before, Ryle White Mountain. I thought it might be private property, and it essentially is. Anyway, my backup plan was to swing back around County Road One and and go to uh, the fossil beds, make a few contacts, but somebody was already squatting out there, and it was, it was you. I had you on your uh, on the ham alert there. Go ahead. K zero F Y R at floors of National Fossil Beds. K five Sierra Juliet Charlie up the hill to the east at uh, Mueller State Park. Send me three, buddy. Victor Echo Four Quebec Zanzibar. You were about a five five there, but uh, I'll give you a five 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 Manitoba Mexico Bravo. Zero F Y R. I know you don't have to tune it 1500 watts, you know. Dude, honestly. If it's not in tune yet, sell it. You know what I mean? So, farthest I've gotten is uh, Indiana on the uh, east coast 
So I got California to Indiana to Arkansas, uh, Idaho, and Manitoba, Canada. And uh, he's uh, a pretty decent distance. Probably the farthest contact so far. Nothing more uh, east or south. No Arizona, no Texas, no New Mexico. I was trying the Oklahoma guy, but I guess he couldn't hear me. Kilo 7, Papa, Yankee, Papa. Yeah, Roger, 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 Roger. I got you about a 5, 555 this morning after North Idaho, Indiana Open. Well, the one thing I can say for sure is that the one-to-one -one ballon has worked perfectly uh, without any problem, actually getting much better signal reports than I was on the uh, four-to-one. And so uh, distance is, uh, you know, a little bit a little bit shorter, just a little bit. Uh, haven't gotten anything far east coast. All right, I am going to go uh, off air just for about a uh, couple minutes while I switch antennas. And so I'm going to switch to a homebrewed loop antenna and still be running 5 watts. So if you, uh, you give me about 5-10 minutes and I'll have that set up. This is K0FYR and I'll be uh, switching antennas. All right, switched over to the uh, loop antenna over here in the, uh, in the background. And uh, got it tuned up. It was a little bit hard. I had to carry the radio to hold it and key up and then try to turn the inductance uh, without affecting uh, the whole thing using my hands. And then when I moved the, uh, when I moved the radio back over, uh, the table gave it interference. Uh, anything that I touched gave it interference. And so once I sat the radio on top of here, I stretched the mic cord all the way over to the antenna and then keyed up and turned it while I watched the screen here all the way on the table. And uh, I'm sitting at like maybe maybe 1.5 uh, SWR. And so uh, not bad, uh, but I haven't gotten anybody yet. And so I've been calling out for a little bit, uh, you know, maybe maybe three minutes and so uh we'll have to just wait and see if anybody can come back to me uh on this antenna uh i don't know another way that i could tune it without interfering with the uh, signal on the antenna and me might need a shorter run of coax uh this piece that it's uh, uh sitting on is probably 20 feet long and uh I don't know. That may. I don't know if that affects it or not. Uh, I don't see how else you can tune it, unless you're using a, a needle, separate needle SWR meter uh, with forward reflective power. Might be a little bit easier to tune. But again, if you're just touching it and it's affecting it, uh, I had to figure on that how how I could do it. I mean, obviously, it would be better if I had somebody uh, turning the knobs for me and they wouldn't be affecting it as much as I am, I guess. I don't know. So that's something I have to look into. It's running almost uh, north-south, uh, the antenna. So I should be getting a lobe east and west. I should be. I don't know. I haven't heard much. Trying to keep the SWR down, it's really hard to tune this. Uh, when I'm trying to look at the radio and tune it over there and key it up at the same time and then the moment that I turn the radio around it changes the SWR from what I had it uh, at and so there seems to be a lot that affects this loop antenna um, and I'm still trying to figure it out so it's a it's a uh, obviously it's a it's a uh, work in progress um, I'll need a second person if I really want to uh, 
if I really want to make a difference and I need to get some cross needles and so uh, that's gonna be that's gonna be something I'm looking at uh, the MFJ 822 uh, is a very small cross needle uh, system uh, it has a uh, forward power reflected power and SWR I think that's what I need uh, in order to see that because if I was plugged into that into this then I could see it without having to turn the radio and get the SWR lower even if I was by myself um, having a second person obviously would be the most benefit and so I'll see if I can get me one of those MFJ uh, uh, 822 uh, cross needle uh, uh, tuner or uh, tuner uh, SWR meter November United 7 Juliet NU 7 J Yes, K0 FYR NU 7 J is 3x3 33 3x3 three three, Washington Whiskey Alpha over November 5 Mike Mike oh. I'm going to move the uh, camera and everything closer. I moved some stuff out of the way and uh, redid the uh, redid the tuning. So uh, trying to see if I can get a better uh, signal. When I attach my battery, I get a uh, higher SWR. Uh, external battery, get a higher SWR. So, right now, the uh, SWR looks like it's one-to-one. -one. Yeah, pretty much. So right now, I'm a one-to-one -one SWR with my loop. And so, uh, I'm just going to let it run like this for a while, see what happens. I thought I'd give you shouts, and then when I heard the noise, the background noise there, I didn't know if other folks were hearing that. It was, they couldn't, uh, may not be able to pick you out from the noise or not uh, with the power level that you're running. So I'm just curious. But, no, it works good. I'm going to log it here. Working another band, brother. Another park to park, okay? K0FYR. At the floors at National Fossil Beds. Park's on the air. It's K5, Sierra, Juliet, Charlie, up the hill at Mueller State Park. Park's on the air. 73 is Mike. All right, unfortunately, uh, my last contact, I wasn't recording uh, because I got too busy doing some other stuff, but it was on uh, 20 meters. I went back to 20 meters, and I did a park-to-park -park contact with Kilo Juliet 7 uniform X-ray X-ray, and uh, he was 5'3 to me, and uh, he said I was 3'1 to him in Oregon, and he was in park Kilo dash zero two zero zero in oregon and so that's the end of the uh, loop uh got four contacts on the loop and the other uh uh 11 contacts including a double park was on the uh, doublet antenna with the one-to-one -one ballon finally all right finish up the activation uh i think i only ended up with three contacts on the loop i'll check that in the log uh basically uh, got out again with it, uh, was playing around with the, uh, the tuning and the, and the, uh, so forth with the machine and then touching it again is still affecting the SWR quite a bit. So I'm still working on that. Maybe I'll get one of those, uh, reach hands, you know, that you clamp, just let it turn the dial, right? <laughs> and see if that works. Um, uh, still a work in progress on the loop, uh, more to follow on it. And then I got to attach the nine foot wire and see how much of a difference that really makes on the uh, SWR. It's a thinner wire too, so that might make a big deal. But uh, overall, about 15 contacts, uh, just like I did in South Dakota. This time with the not, the uh, one to one ballon instead. And so uh, know that it works and it gets out and got Manitoba, uh, Canada it was probably one of my farthest contacts. Uh, a couple in Oregon, some stuff in uh, Indiana. Uh, nothing really south per se. I got one Louisiana. Actually, with the loop, I got a Louisiana contact. Um, but this is uh, K0FYR Ham Solo 73.